Hi everybody. Today on What's in My Drug Box, episode number four, we're going to talk about hydroxocobalamin, which is an antidote. Hydroxocobalamin is the active ingredient in the cyano kit and therefore is indicated in patients experiencing cyanide poisoning. Signs and symptoms of cyanide poisoning include drowsiness, confusion, anxiety, perspiration, headache, tachycardia, tachypnea, and dyspnea. Most commonly, EMS providers will encounter cyanide poisoning in the victims of house fires. However, it can also occur due to exposure from chemicals during activities such as photography, fumigation, and pesticide use, and it can also be ingested from plants. Hydroxocobalamin is a class C teratogen and there are no known contraindications. In red blood cells, cyanide has a higher affinity for hemoglobin than oxygen does. So in the presence of cyanide, hemoglobin will bind with the cyanide and cyanide is then delivered to the cells of the body. At a cellular level, when cyanide binds to cytochrome A3, this causes the cell's ability to use oxygen to cease. Since the cell can no longer use oxygen, this causes anaerobic metabolism, which produces lactic acid. At this point, the cells are starving for oxygen and without it, they will eventually die. Hydroxocobalamin is the hydroxylated active form of vitamin B. This is the deep red crystalline powder that's mixed with 200 ml of normal saline prior to administration. Hydroxocobalamin binds with cyanide to create a compound called cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin is then excreted through urination. Cyanocobalamin is actually vitamin B12. However, vitamin B12 is safe within the body, unlike cyanide, because it's bound to the hydroxycobalamin. The intended effect of hydroxocobalamin is that after administration, oxygen will be able to bind with hemoglobin. Adverse effects include an increase in blood pressure and allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis, chest tightness, angioedema, urticaria, pruitus, dyspnea, and rashes. As with my previous videos, please consult your local protocols prior to administering any medication because what I give may be different from what you're supposed to give. For adult patients, I give five grams infused over 15 minutes. For pediatric patients, I give 70 milligrams per kilogram infused over 15 minutes. If you need additional doses, you may contact med control. If you would like to learn more about hydroxocobalamin, please feel free to check out my resources in the description. And until next time, have a great day.